How's it going guys? ATW Tech here. In the middle of a hurricane right now in Central Florida. I figured I'd make a quick video letting you guys know that the Alpha R2 i5-960 model is Oculus Rift ready. You no longer need the graphics amplifier. You no need you don't need any other upgrades or anything. You are straight good to go. Before the uh, specs were, I think I believe they were an i5 and a 970. But their new secret sauce, asynchronous space warp, jumbo, mumbo, whatever you want to call it, can run on an i3-960. So the base model R2 with an i5-960 will beast through VR games like never before. Um, the way it works is it can run at 45, 45 frames per second, but it can still provide a 90 seconds, 90 frames per second to the headset. So before, you know, obviously it wasn't powerful enough to do it. Obviously you're not going to get, you know, this time you're not going to get like full max quality. But you don't have to, you also don't have to worry about a poor experience with it. You can just, you know, you get the base model i5 960R2 Oculus Rift headset and you're good to go. No more, you know, you don't need the graphics amplifier until later on if you want to add it. Because um, I know a lot of questions, people are like, does it support VR? You know, are they going to upgrade it to support VR with a powerful GPU? Because, you know, the processors are already good. But no, you don't have to do that anymore. You're pretty much, you're good to go. The Alpha R2 just, boom, get the i5-960. You're good to go for VR. All is good. So I just wanted to pump out this quick video, letting you guys know. Because um, I see that question a lot. VR is getting interesting with the PSVR coming out soon today i think is it today i don't know it's late i'm trying to deal with the hurricane i'm not thinking straight hope you guys have a great night just want to let you guys know if you have any questions for me let me know in the comments below and until then peace out guys